Hello. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload new videos. There are several methods of charging the high voltage battery in the Audi e-tron. Audi highly recommends using high voltage charging stations or a dedicated wall box. The Audi e-tron compact charging system may be used with a standard outlet when these options are not available. The compact charging system consists of the control unit, the attached vehicle cable with a charging connector, a power cable with a standard plug for household sockets, and a separate power cable for use with industrial sockets. On the control unit, connect the appropriate power cable for the available socket, household or industrial, and close the lock. Plug the power cable into a dedicated outlet. The icons on the control unit may glow or flash green, yellow, or red, depending on conditions. Please see the owner's manual for information on the status indicated by various combinations. The control unit automatically recognizes the voltage and available current strength. The charging power level can be set to full or half power by pressing the power button for three seconds. Half power charging is not available with 110 volt power. Before connecting the charging cable to the vehicle, the Audi e-tron must be in park, the parking brake set, and the ignition off. The compact charging system can then be connected to the charging port on the Audi e-tron. The charging process will begin once the cable is attached to the vehicle, unless a timer has been set. The light to the left of the port will glow white when the vehicle is communicating with the charging station. When the indicator light is pulsing green, the vehicle is being charged. An indicator will also pulse on the instrument cluster. There is also an indicator for the estimated remaining charging time until the charging process is completed. Once charging is complete, the indicator light in the control unit will be solid green. While charging, the connector is locked and cannot be removed unless the vehicle is unlocked and the charge port button is pressed. The connector must be removed within 30 seconds or it will automatically re-lock. The Audi e-tron compact charging system is a convenient alternative to dedicated charging stations. Charging the Audi e-tron requires awareness of how to properly connect to charging stations and battery management techniques. All charging types will connect to the charging port on the driver's side front fender under the e-tron logo. To open the charging port door, the e-tron must be in park, be turned off with the parking brake engaged. With the doors unlocked, press the button to the right of the e-tron logo to open the charging port. Then, plug in the charging cable. If charging is not being delayed with a timer, the charging process will begin immediately. The light to the left of the port will glow white when the vehicle is communicating with the charging station and pulse green when it is charging. An indicator will also pulse in the instrument cluster. There is also an indicator for the remaining charging time until the charging process is completed. When the vehicle charge is complete, it will be solid green. To unplug the charging cable from the vehicle, ensure the doors are unlocked and then press the button next to the charging port to unlock the cable from the charging unit. If not disconnected in 30 seconds, it will re-lock. The e-tron can be charged at public charging stations using AC or DC current as well as home charging stations or the Audi portable compact charging station with household or industrial AC sockets. Audi recommends using the Audi e-tron compact charging system with 110 volt household sockets only in special circumstances when it is not possible to charge with a higher current charger. To help preserve the life expectancy of the Audi e-tron battery, Audi recommends charging to 80% capacity for normal commutes and only charging to 100% for longer journeys. To limit the charge capacity, on the MMI upper display, press Vehicle, charging at efficiency, and charging. The current charge level and the charge target are displayed. To change the target, press the charge level indicator, then press right or left to adjust. The target cannot be set below 50%. Intelligent charging strategies will result in improved battery performance. 
Regenerative braking converts the energy of deceleration into usable energy to charge the battery using the resistance of the electric motor. There are two different regeneration modes, automatic and manual. These modes are selected in the upper MMI touch display. From the home screen, select Vehicle, then Charging and Efficiency, and Efficiency Assist. Then select Automatic or Manual. In Manual mode, one of three levels of regenerative braking effect can be selected using the paddles on the steering wheel. The default level is coasting. No regeneration braking will occur unless the brake pedal is applied. Pull the minus paddle once for the first level of braking effect and regeneration. And again for the second level of braking effect and a higher level of regeneration. Pull the plus paddle to reduce the braking effect level. In either of these two regeneration levels, the vehicle will decelerate and the battery regeneration will begin when the accelerator pedal is released. The power meter needle will go into the charge zone, showing power is flowing to the battery. The charge zone will expand as the battery charge decreases. Full regeneration capability will apply when the battery has less than 75% charge. In automatic mode, the system uses the front distance sensors and map data to help choose the appropriate regenerative braking effect based on vehicles ahead. The steering wheel paddles can also be used in automatic mode to change the regeneration levels temporarily. The system reverts to coasting the next time the accelerator is lifted. In all cases, regenerative braking resistance will only slow the vehicle to a certain level. If greater deceleration or a complete stop is required, the brakes will apply with increased pressure on the brake pedal. Audi e-tron's regenerative braking takes advantage of energy that would normally be lost in conventional braking. With the Audi e-tron route planner, charging stations can be discovered on an intended route prior to departure. To begin, press Navigation on the upper MMI display. Press Search to enter a destination address. Select the address when it appears in the list of results. Then press Start. If the destination is beyond the current charge capacity, the Audi e-tron route planner will ask to include charging stations along the route. Press OK to accept. A new route will appear including any needed charging stations along the way as well as an estimated charge level upon arrival and the distance between each stop. Press Accept to accept the new route. During the trip, press the checkered flag icon on the right of the screen for route details. To turn the Audi e-tron route planner off, select Navigation, Settings, and then toggle the Audi e-tron route planner off. The Audi e-tron route planner provides peace of mind knowing there are charging stops along the way. Amazon Alexa content can be played using the MMI touchscreen and the voice recognition system in your Audi. No home Alexa devices are necessary. It resides within your vehicle. To use Alexa, the vehicle must have a primary user assigned and be logged into an active My Audi account in the vehicle. Registration of the primary user must be completed by an authorized Audi dealer. To use Alexa features, with the vehicle in park, select User, My Audi Login, then enter the username and password for a registered My Audi account. Agree to link the My Audi account to the Amazon Alexa account. Then agree to the Alexa Voice Services disclaimer. A QR code and a unique password will appear. If the web address is entered into a device manually, enter this password as well. Or use a compatible smartphone to read the QR code. A link to the Amazon login site will appear on the smartphone. Select it. Enter the Amazon username and password. Then log in. The smartphone will display an Audi Alexa integration access request. Select Allow. The MMI touchscreen will verify the Alexa connection. Once activated, use Alexa features by briefly pressing the voice recognition button. After the tone, say Alexa and the desired request. Alexa, what is the weather forecast for tomorrow? Here is the weather report for Troy. Alexa will remain active until the My Audi account is logged out or the Alexa connection is disconnected. The Amazon Alexa connection provides convenient access to information and entertainment.
When the high voltage battery is sufficiently charged, the available climate control preconditioning feature on the Audi e-tron allows heating and cooling to occur when the ignition is off. To activate from the lower MMI display, select the three dot icon. Select the thermometer icon in the upper MMI display. To begin using the climate control preconditioning immediately, press the immediate start icon. A red bar illuminates and the remaining preconditioning time is displayed. The system will automatically default to the last set temperature, but this can be manually adjusted using the temperature control. To schedule preconditioning for a future departure time, press a timer arrow. Two separate timers can be set. Set the date a maximum of six days ahead. Then select Next. Now set the departure time and select OK. Activate the timer with the toggle button. Information about active timers will appear in the upper display once the ignition is turned off. Prior to the set departure time, the system can turn on and bring the cabin to the preset temperature. Preconditioning will continue to run 10 minutes after the departure time and then turn off unless the ignition is turned on. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Subscribe to Auto TV.